Hi guys, welcome to Mbax Guitar. There's a new song of Wolf called Hoops. It was released about one week ago. So today I decided to bring you the guitar lesson. For the song or if you want to listen to it, click down below in the description. There's a link, you'll see the song. So let's start. Now, it was a song that I was playing in the background at the beginning of this video. And this song involved two chords which was the c chord and an f7 major chord f7 major chord you just don't you hold f but then you don't hold the first string so this song has only these two chords from the beginning to the end which is Now, the reason why I'm using the this C chord and the F chord, this sound sounds like it has a lot of bass. So to make it, to play it in a more similar way in form of an acoustic version, I decided to use this C and this F. You can also hold it like this. But then if you hold it like this, you won't be able to hold F7 shape. Okay? So it's C and F7 chord. So you can play all throughout like this up to the end. You can choose a strumming pattern. You can also strum on the way. You can strum while muting with your hand to make it more interesting. Uh, but the way I was playing it is a bit more advanced. Maybe if you want to play an acoustic version or you want to make a cover, now then maybe you could play it like this so you play the c chord the beginning can i have your face and time it of mine so instead of playing just two chords the beginning part i play c e minor f7 then a minor and g which you can also play from here so it is. Can I have your face and tired of mine? We should keep almost every night. Can I have your face and tired of mine? We should keep almost every night. Then after 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 playing the two F seven. But uh, also you can you can you can just decide to play the F back there instead of adding the this could be a little faster for you. So for those seeking to make covers of this song, this would be the best way to play it. Can I have your face and tired of me? We should almost every night. So the improvisions, just the E minor, A minor, and the G chord. You can choose wherever to play it from. Now, uh, when you reach there is a part where she plays somehow like an instrumental, instrumental, more like a bridge. Uh, you can also use this in your background in case you want to remake this song. Uh, you can use. So imagine you 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 can see I'm um I'm, I'm using the pinky instead of playing it as individual notes.
I'm instead using taking the advantage of these fingers by using pull off switches. Okay. I'm taking advantage of these two uh, to make it sound more nice and also to make it easier. So this you will take some time practicing it and uh, it will take some time to get used to. So you hold the first the first finger will be holding the fifth string in the third fret and then the first string will be the pinky you'll use these two frets the fifth and third fret so you play this twice then you move to the f note down And then you go back so when you reach that part of like that bridge you play it then you play again how you play the So uh, when you sing the first verse, it, it's not necessary for you to continue playing the, the C, the A minor, and the F. This only applies to the first part of the first verse. Okay. Can I have your... Then the part of the other parts of the verse, you just play them as... Then also when you're from the bridge, you go back to the way you played the first part of the first verse as Can I have your... Okay, then uh, the end, the end also ends with part of what happened at the bridge, which was the instrumental or the bridge, I think. So that we, what happened was... So you can end with that, you play. F then you end it like that so this song uh, is, is, is not majorly then sound so well in acoustics but with the correct uh, improvisions you could really bring out this piece and it would make a good sound uh, especially if you add on what I've played and you improvise with it a lot you get good results out of it the other way to play it also since it's two chords you can now you can just try to use different chord shapes like maybe this c and then you transfer instead of holding this f here you use here so this song could sound well it's a great chance to test how you're good with your different chord shapes in different positions you can use very many skills in this song and uh, it will bring out uh, the two coded song so thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also remember to check on that song right down in the description bye